What can you tell us about private market valuations at PE firms? So in general, can, do you see LPs actually demanding more information on marks and more you know, reporting requirements on valuation? Is that something that's shifting? Uh, I, I don't see a big uh, uh, a set of uh, enormous concerns uh, on that. Uh, what always happens at this stage in the cycle, uh, you know, when you go to very high interest rates uh, and, and the world sort of starts slowing down, uh, is that uh, deals slow down. So for LPs, their biggest concern is they're not getting capital flows back uh, that they normally were depending on because people uh, aren't, aren't selling assets. Uh, this, these type of cycles always end and things return uh, to normal. It's, it's quite interesting uh, that, um, you know, we, we just did two deals in the U.K. in the last two weeks, one in the affordable uh, uh, and what they call social housing area, one in computer software. Uh, both are million, billion uh, dollar, uh, two billion dollar type uh, deals. Uh, we, we, we're doing a number of things in the U.S. now, some of which have been announced, some of which haven't. Uh, we just were involved with a situation in Norway that's $12 billion. So, so the deal business is, is not totally in mothballs, uh, and, and these things start again. Uh, and I think we're more on that side of the uh, cycle, although it has been. You know, somewhat dreary uh, uh, for a year. So, in terms, for example, of real estate, I think you're raising an opportunistic fund. Ten billion? How's that going? Well, we're, we're raising money for a European fund. Actually, we're always raising money for a lot of funds, Francine. Uh, and you know, we, we've gone through a big fundraising cycle, so we have over uh, 200 billion dollars. It's one of the biggest pools of uninvested capital in the world, uh, and. That will be deployed uh, in due course. Interestingly, in real estate, which you just asked about, we're seeing a good deal of um, uh, volume of uh, buying things in Europe uh, because European real estate is, is under pressure uh, in large part because interest rates were so low here for so long. Sometimes in countries they were negative. So the borrowing costs to own real estate were next to nothing, and, and now it's closer to 6%. So if you have to carry a whole portfolio that used to cost you next to nothing at 6%, they need to sell things. You know, um, it, it, it's necessary to, to just hold their other properties. And so we're seeing some very, very good buys um, in that kind of environment because unlike most people, we, we have enormous capital and can buy the types of real estate that, that we like, whether they're uh, data centers, whether they're warehouses, whether they're student housing, where those sectors have done very well.